a lot of people are proud of this hometown and it's a generational type of pride because their families moved here to work in the mills and they've stayed ever since. But one thing that came to the top of everyone's mind when we started talking about Gastonia was growth. At certain times of the day, the trains that brought the people and the businesses to Gastonia 150 years ago still run through town. But when the textile industry dried up and the mills shuttered, Gastonia was left at a crossroads. For years, they were stagnant, but now change isn't just coming, it's already here. Yeah, we think it'll make it. If 76 years in business isn't enough to prove they've got it, Doug Howe says, just taste their food. What can I get for you? Then you'll understand why Aro's Barbecue is one of the oldest family-run businesses in Gastonia. We're as, as, as low-tech and um, as you can get, but it works. It works. Plus, we're not smart enough to be high-tech. Change isn't on the menu here. This is a place where people come to remember, but that doesn't mean they aren't happy to see what's going on in their hometown. To this end of town, which for years has kind of been let go. You know, it's kind of been, everything has moved toward Belmont, that area. So now they, they've run out of room to grow that way, so everything's coming this way. Growth is happening all over Gastonia, but that hasn't always been the case. I was just really frustrated because I saw other things in other areas. Growing up, Rankin Lake was the place to be for Mayor Walker Reed until officials decided to shut it down. Because some people felt uncomfortable with some, some people being more people here than they were. The lake was closed for 30 years, but now it's redone and reopened. Downtown businesses are moving in. A new baseball park stands where an old abandoned building once sat. It keeps you sweet. None of it's bitter. It's all sweet for Mayor Reed. And the fact that those buildings are gone, and now we have a jewel sitting in the middle of downtown Gaston. From the parking lot at R.O.'s, you can see the lights from the ball field. You know, they build places now, and they try to create an artificial history, you know, where it looks like it's been there forever. And you can tell that this really has. And while some things are better left as is, there's joy and hope in change. You know, so we're standing here in downtown Gastonia. You can see all these shops that are open right now. A lot of change has happened here. When I was talking with Mayor Reed, sipping sweet tea, I might add, he said this took a lot of work. It was days and years to really get to where we're standing right now, but there is still more to come.